Good girl. I love you. She's still helping. Oof, so tiring, right? <laughs> okay, so here's where we're at with the pile. Hey guys, it's Julia. Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be very different from what I normally post on my channel, but I am super excited for this video because it is going to be a new in its series called Crazy to Clutter Free. And it's just really where I'm going to declutter and minimize my stuff that I have in my house and I'm starting with clothing and this is inspired by Marie Kondo in her methods and just really going through the clothing that I have first and seeing what I actually wear, what makes me happy when I wear it, what makes me feel good and just getting rid of the rest whether that be selling it or donating it and yeah so I'm super super excited for this video. Stay tuned for the highs and the lows because I had a lot more clothes than I thought I had. So confession before we start, I'm filming this the next day from the rest of the video that you're going to see because I had filmed the beginning stages of my decluttering process and then my SD card deleted all of it. I think it was actually my fault I accidentally deleted it. but. A spoiler alert, these are all the clothes that I decided that I was going to donate. So it's about 50% of my wardrobe, honestly. And I didn't think I was going to be able to donate this much. Um, and this doesn't include the things that I decided to sell as well. So I think that this video was a huge, huge success. Here's a quick look before we start at all the clothes that I decided that I was going to donate. And that is not a small pile at all. It has some some serious depth to it so i say that this video was a success so yeah i hope you enjoyed the rest of the video and let's get right into the decluttering process funniest part of this is i've tried capsule wardrobes and minimizing my wardrobe many many times before and that's why you'll see me pull items out of suitcases and many many suitcases at that because i have decluttered my closet many times but i have never actually let go of those items i would stick them into storage bins or suitcases to save for later and i could never really let go so hopefully in doing so today and really seeing every item that i own i'm going to be able to actually let go and that is the goal to finally be able to completely rid myself of the extra weight of those items that I have laying around in cracks and crevices of my apartment. I started to get really worried because I didn't actually realize how many pieces of clothing that I did own and seeing it on the bed all at once is absolutely terrifying because <laughs> it's like a mountain and I didn't know that many clothes could even fit in the suitcases that I did have and the storage bins that I did have and I think that's why I got so overwhelmed when I was unpacking everything because it didn't seem like I had that much because the only things that I really had hung up were my capsule wardrobe items. So all the other pieces of clothing were hidden away and tucked away and I had no idea what I actually did have. So it's really nice to really take everything and look at everything I have and go from there. I have 17 sweatshirts, but I love this sweatshirt too. My problem is sweatshirts. Like I have a big, big sweatshirt hoarder problem. And I also like make a bunch of my sweatshirts like I made this one and I made this one so I have a ton of sweatshirts that I made so they have sentimental value but I don't need 17 sweatshirts so that's gonna be the hardest part for me is letting go of certain things like this so this is going to the maybe pile hi mama she's still there and uh, here's the state of where we're at right now so I feel like I've been at this for a while and haven't made too much progress yet. Here's the big pile behind me. But honestly, looking at the things, I've already 
gotten almost two full bags of donation things only and then these are things that I need to bring to work and then here are all the things that I'm keeping in round one so just this stuff right here kind of separated into different piles like sweatshirts shirts and sweaters pants um, jean jacket t-shirts which I can dwindle down shorts and tank tops and then these are summer clothes that I'll put away selling and then the maybe pile which is here so it might not make sense to you guys but it kind of makes sense to me okay but we're making progress the pile is starting to go down a lot Right now I just feel so like heavy and just feel so overwhelmed. <laughs> but we're just gonna keep going. And some of the stuff, like I have been, here's the thing with me is a lot of the stuff that I had was put into suitcases because I've had days where I where I binge watch lots of um, minimalistic, like messy day minimal series. And then I go to my closet and create a capsule wardrobe and then put all my other clothes away in suitcases. But I've never let go. Like really ever. Last time I donated clothes was probably seven years ago. And just recently bought some new items for myself like this sweater. So I'm just really making room for these things and getting rid of things that I no longer wear. Ah, see, this sweatshirt I will keep. So then, what I'll do is this is gonna be my white sweatshirt, and then I'll trade anything you can do, I can do on point, for keep your head up and your leg up higher. That one I'll donate. And then this tan sweatshirt I'll keep so that I have one white sweatshirt, one tan, one pink, and then a tie-dye and then one hoodie and then that's the cap no more sweatshirts <sighs> no more sweatshirts <laughs> Okay, so now I'm sitting on my bed and here's what we're looking at. Donation bags, things to take to work. This is the section that I'm keeping, just this. This is the maybe pile. This pile is going to be to sell. And then here's summer things. So I think I'm going to kind of clear this space, the summer items away in storage, um, put these in a box to photograph later. And then I'll go through the things that I am keeping and because I have I think that already is just too many t-shirts and also go through the maybe pile with that and then I'll start to put everything back into the closet I also am really proud of myself because I decluttered all of my summer clothes as well and now they can fit into one carry-on sized suitcase I do have some t-shirts and things out and hung up um in the winter so those will count also for summer but my really summery clothing is really all in a carry-on suitcase and I feel like that is a very awesome achievement <laughs> drawn to minimal lifestyle because I think it creates a very calming space and when there's so much clutter I really do feel chaotic energy around me and it's very hard to keep a clean home and I thrive in an environment where I feel calm my surroundings look calm and it's very hard to keep my area this way when I have so much clutter so that's really what motivated me to 
start this journey and i was really inspired by all of the youtubers out there who are brave enough to share their content on this platform for other people to see and it really really helped me take that first step so i hope in making this video that i inspire someone else as well and maybe you declutter as you're watching my videos so that's the goal just to really spread you know inspiration and motivation because other people did that for me are gonna have to fit in this drawer so let's see if we can do it I'm gonna try one of the folding I don't think that's right but let's just go with this for now because I am exhausted just tired of cleaning not even cleaning just decluttering I also folded all my sweatshirts into one drawer kind of messy but i only decided to keep four sweatshirts there's one hoodie and then one lighter hoodie and then two crew necks so that all fit into these three drawers and then these drawers i'm going to tackle in another video these are bathing suits this one is completely empty and i think this one is empty as well except for a bracelet and it's a little dusty so next video i'll tackle bathing suits and then kitchen stuff maybe and also my undergarment drawer i will tackle separately but going into the closet this is this is the final result so we have just some t-shirts here in case the winter weather decides to get warm and then i have my workout pants here i have a couple pairs of leggings my adidas pants and then i decided to keep these north face workout pants and then over here I have my jeans, um, I have my more comfy sweaters kind of thing over here, just four of them. So like this black one and then different colors, my turtlenecks and then my sweaters, two long sleeves, black, one black, one white, um, the white button down, a more fancy black shirt and then my white jean jacket and then tank tops and Let's zoom out. So this is my closet now. Don't mind this stuff up here. We're gonna declutter all that in separate videos because all of this needs to be decluttered and moved around. But maybe I'll sell this Halloween costume. And then in another video, we'll tackle purses, um, junk from up here, under the bed, maybe some of this stuff. We'll just take it one step at a time, but this first step was clothing, so this is the final result, and it's not too bad. And then as for my fancy dresses, I'm also going to keep those. I just need to go ahead and hang those up, and those will go back here. Um, it's just a couple dresses that I have. I don't have very many, which is why I decided to keep them all, but this is insane. This was crazy. Okay, so that brings us to the end of our video thank you guys so much for watching and i'm super excited to create this new series crazy declutter free so if you enjoyed this please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will create a playlist for the series where i go through each room and each category in my home and 
declutter and minimize and simplify. So thanks again so much for watching this video and if you've been procrastinating or been wanting to declutter or reorganize or go through your things, just go for it and I hope this video gave you some inspiration to do so and maybe rewatch this video and we can do it together. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.